So in this equation, <coughs> this equation, um, if we want to now go from polar to rectangular, the only way we can go from polar to rectangular is if we find r cosine of theta, we can plug it in, we can replace it now with x. If we see r sine of theta, we can now replace it in with y. If we have x squared plus y squared, we could replace it with r squared. Yes? But the problem is, do we have any one of those, either one of those? No, we have this cosecant. Where the heck did cosecant? Why? Why cosecant? Well, let's think about this. If I get the cosecant and the r together, let's divide by cosecant on both sides. Now, dividing by cosecant is the same thing as multiplying, or dividing a number is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So dividing by cosecant is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is? Oh, wow. That's awesome. What does r sine of theta represent? Y. So y equals negative 4. Do we know what that creates? A horizontal line at negative 4, right? There we go. Done. All right, last one. Now, for this last one, I am going to admit it is going to be a little mean. Um, it does, for those of you that are paying